As you can see here, the Blackmagic video switcher can take several video formats. So what are the difference between all those, all of them? Well, there are three aspects. You have frame rates, that is how many frames per second, how many pictures in the video per second. In Europe, we have 25 and 50. In North America and Japan, you have almost 30 and almost 60. And in film, the cinema, theater, you have 24. And then you have resolution. How many pixels vertically and how many pixels horizontally? And in HD, you have at least two different standards. You have the so-called so 720, that is 720 lines and 1280 pixels wide. And then you have the full HD, uh, that is called 1080, that is 1080 pixels vertically and 1920 pixels wide. So the higher, the better. And also, the higher, it's more difficult to transmit on the internet. And the last is progressive or interlaced. Well, what is interlaced? That is a very old um, invention from the TV's childhood because they wanted to, do, to transmit 50 or 60 pictures each second to have a smooth movement. But that was too much. They couldn't transmit that much pictures. So they had to compress. So what they did, they took a pair of two pictures and interlaced them together, uh, each even and odd lines. So the odd lines was the first picture and the even lines was the, uh, a picture one fiftieth second later. And when it came to the TV screen, the TV screen took them apart and first showed the odd lines and one fiftieth second later it showed the even lines. This standard has survived all up today. So still today we have interlaced HD and it's very common for consumer cameras to record in 1080 interlaced. Interlaced is very nice on TV screens, but not on computer screens, because computer screens are progressive. Progressive is when you show all the lines at the same time. So what you don't want is to record interlaced to show on a computer, that is on internet. So if you record with an 1080 interlaced, you have to remove each other line. If not, it will look like stripes. But of course, there are also progressive cameras. The most common is the 720 progressive. It's called 720p50 because it's 50 progressive frames each second. And this is my recommendation. You could, of course, use 1080 P25, that is 25 progressive frames each second, but unfortunately the Blackmagic switcher can't handle that format yet. 720p50 is also too much for internet, 50 frames per second is also too much for internet nowadays, so we have to compress that down to p25, but 720p25 is also not one of the standards of the Blackmagic switcher. So just as a compromise, Choose 720p50 for all the cameras and 720p50 on the Blackmagic switcher, switcher and then compress to p25 later on when uploading to YouTube and or streaming. There are also a standard called 1080p50 that is 50 progressive frames each second in full HD and many consumer cameras already have that but that's a standard far beyond internet video. Even if the camera can record in 720p50 or 1080i or whatever, it may not output that standard on the HDMI output of the camera. But you can, in some cameras, you can alter that in the menu. You have one menu for the recording standard and another menu for the output standard. Some cameras don't have that two-fold uh, menu, so the, the camera will output whatever you record. 
and all the cameras will always output the same standard, whatever you record. So you have to make sure that the output of the HDMI or the SDI output of the camera can output what you want to use in your standard. 